Hello, this is your friendly neighborhood Dr. Jimmy128 and I'm bringing to you um, a 1 versus 1 that was played not too long ago. This was the final match of the Game Evolution January Novice Tournament. Novice, Novice, however you like to pronounce it. <laughs> Introducing the players, it is uh, of course spawning here on the bottom side of Daybreak. It is going to be Skinny USC, the Green Zerg. And his opponent is also going to be a Zerg, the Blue Zerg, very befitting to his name, uh, my good friend, Blue Ren. So, uh, this was the final match. Now, previously, Skinny USC and Blue Ren met in the winner's bracket finals, uh, sorry, uh, semi-finals, or was it finals? Yes, finals. And uh, Skinny USC uh, won that set two games to one so that was a very close series I'm sure it came down to the wire and Blue Ren now has his second chance against Skinny USC so let us see how this match goes uh, we see Skinny USC going for a 14 gas here and he should go immediately for his spawning pool once he has 200 minerals and Blue Ren going opting for a 15 gas instead so uh, you see now a slight variation in the builds though that uh, in a zerg versus zerg every little thing or every you know little advantage that you can get does uh, snowball into a you know big deal later on in the game now uh, the advantage blue Ren has with this build is he has more drones mining he has more mining time off 14 drones than skinny usc when he went for a 14 gas so he only had 16 drones mining so uh but let us see if that will actually come into play but on skinny's side he will have his spawning pool and dragon speed all that much faster and he already has a hundred gas and he's pulled off all the probes off the line he should be getting dragon speed as soon as the spawning pool is completed blue ren on the other hand will be able to get his uh, speed as well once this finishes for for zerg is on the way for skinny you see a queen and uh zergling speed blue ren also doing the same however he isn't getting his upgrade yet he opted to go for a zergling and queen first now he can afford to get the metabolic boost but he isn't getting it there you go And it looks like uh, Blue Ren's scouting drone is going to be taken out by these four Zerglings. I like the positioning of the overlords. For Blue Ren, he will have a full scout of the main. And same with Skinny, he is going to position his overlord right here outside the natural of Blue Ren. And we see his four Zerglings moving out of the field. There you go, there is a hatchery now going down for Skinny USC. Blue Ren is aware of this, so how will he react? He already has a Baneling's Nest on the way. So will he do a Ling, Baneling all-in, or will he also uh, play the macro game? And get an expansion himself. He does have enough to expand at this moment. And we see a scouting uh, zone, and oh, looks like these Zerglings for Skinny USC were taken out here at the tower. Reinforcing Zergling is now on the way, and the painting nest for uh, Blue is already completed. Speed though, not yet done. And it looks like uh, Blue is going to intercept the speedling of Skinny USC. So, right now, the speed uh, Skinny USC's Zergling is much faster than Blue Ren's, but not for long. There you go. Zergling is taken out. Now, Blue is taking such a long time to expand. He just now started to his expansion he already has speed on the way so will he be aggressive with his banelings and links looks like he's going to move out with his zerglings and we also see a roach warrant from blue so he is also going to go for roaches this game and also joining up really hard he has four drones on the way spine crawler going down for skinny usc and uh oh two banelings are morphing in and looks like uh, Skinny USC is going to intercept this group of Zerglings. And Blue will have uh, more Lings than Skinny. And here comes the Bane Lings. Bane Ling, where are you going? 
and he explodes the beginning of the hatchery. Not the best one. Uh oh! No, blue ren did not. There you go. All those zerglings taken out by that one bailing. However, blue uh, isn't exactly key, keep keeping up the pressure. He does have a lot of links on the way, but they are far, far from the base of Skinny USC, and not much damage has been done. And Skinny USC now producing a lot of links. So it looks like he might go for an attack, and there you go. Skinny USC now. Uh, uh, evolving his hatchery into a lair blue not that far behind however income wise let's look at the income tab uh, the, both of the players are rather even blue has a slight drawn advantage however that will be erased as soon as these seven drones spawn and looks like we have a couple of zerglings here for blue just trying to poke and crowd around the front but they are seriously outnumbered by Skinny's links <coughs> and also Skinny grabbing his abandoned list of his own. So we have a couple of abandoned here. Poor Blue looks like he's gonna try and bait the, the links of Skinny up the ramp, but it's not going to work. So Blue now just now saturating his natural expansion, not that much saturation for Skinny as he as well as they have been producing a lot of attacking units. But oh, here comes another wave of drones from Skinny USC. He is grabbing uh, his second gas. He should be grabbing these two gases as well. If he plans to, uh, you know, maintain Banelings and Lair Tech at the same time. And Blue researching uh, centrifugal hooks for evolving centrifugal hooks. And we see an evolution chamber from Blue as well. Once two spine crawlers going down at the uh, natural expansion. Plus an attack coming for Skinny USC. And one thing that I really like about Skinny USC is he has been consistently joining uh, Game Evolution tournaments and I can see consistent improvement from his play. So that I like. There you go. There are those two gases and a Spire now on the way. Uh oh. Now this could spell trouble for Blue because uh, not only is Skinny USC stack ahead by the time that his Spire completes. Uh, he will have a lot of Metalisks prepared and normally the first Zerg to go for Metalisks uh, is usually the victor and will have huge air dominance because it would be really hard for the other player to catch up in Muta production if he does decide to go for Metalisks. And if Blue does decide to go for Metalisks, which he is now... Uh, He's now building a spire, so he'll have some. He'll have a lot of difficulty just trying to keep up with the mutant numbers. And we see 22 links from blue. So does this mean he is going to commit to an attack right here? And if there is any time for him to attack, it would be now, as the spire is just about to complete. We're, see, we're seeing some rolling bailings, and, and they are going to take out a huge amount. Of Skinny's forces and uh oh, Blue losing his virgins right there. Not the best control from Blue. He had an advantage right there. But the defensive bane links for Skinny USC saving his life. Should have waited for these reinforcements, and there you go. Seven Metalisks now on the way. Looks like we have Blue Ren's uh, bane link trying to rejoin the forces of his own. Trying to rejoin his own links, but a huge bailing bomb uh, killing half of Blue's army. And another big, huge bailing hit on Skinny's army, but the Mutalists are now out on the field. Whole bunch of Blue's bailing, uh, Zerglings dying, and uh oh. Blue not controlling his units well, he's going to lose all of these Zerglings. And oh no. Uh, sorry about that there. Uh, error thing with uh, fraps and stupid Yahoo Messenger. Anyways, I have shut off Yahoo Messenger and once again I've been reminded never to open Yahoo Messenger ever again while casting. And here we go. 8 meter is going to come out for blue. However, looking at the mute account, it is a 7. Sorry, 8. It should be 8 in a little while. 8 to 11. So, um. Skinny as he has a huge advantage in terms of uh, mute count. Wow, 
even able to deny this expansion for some time, but still blue um, having problems with unit retention just leaves his Zerglings for dead. You have to realize that every single unit counts, especially in a mirror match. It's like we have a flop as well for blue. He has 10 meatless, but uh, skinny USC already has 14. And if, and you know, 9 times out of 10 times out of 10, 14 meatless always beat 10. And here comes Luke coming in for a little bit of okay, harass. What he should do here is, is actually just go for the drones. And he didn't even, um, there he kills off the queen, but he could have killed off a lot of drones here by, and just ignore the queen. Because that is the only way you can uh, take advantage of your own mutalisks. Now a quick tip for people in blue's position, what you could really, uh, a good thing that you can do is um, put down a bunch of spore crawlers in your base, in your mineral line, have a lot of queens ready, and then try to catch your opponent's mutalisk off guard and go straight for every single drone that your opponent has. Ignore all the queens because queens only deal as 9 damage to your air units and it takes about uh, it'll take a uh, queen almost forever to kill a midlist with 120 life and blue again not controlling your army well giving away a lot of free zerglings and oh blue it's not a good idea to engage so what as i was saying just go straight for your opponent's drones that's the only, you know, the only way that you could come back from, uh, it's the only way you can really respond to an opponent who has <coughs> so much more meatlisks than you. But sadly, blue does not do that here. And it looks like uh, both players now are going for their third base. Blue already has his, uh, Call this his extractors ready for his third expo. Which is not a not a bad idea. Yeah, looks like uh, blue is still continuing to amass zerglings, but still uh, looking at the drone count. Though he is ahead, um, not the best saturation from both players. Macro wise, they have not been producing that many drones. They've only been producing attacking units, and as zerg. You still have to keep up in the drone production. And of course another good response to opponent, an opponent with so many meatless, so many more meatless than you is to make more drones than them because eventually you will be able to uh, you know, out macro them in the long run. But I like this move here from Blue, He's, he has an infestation pit and he will be able to get infestors and fungal growth is a great uh, attack to use against a flock of meatless especially if you can catch them all clumped up we see plus two air attacks coming from skinny usc and plus two melee attacks coming from blue and i like what blue is doing he's making a lot of spore crawlers to defend against the meatless but he must not forget to put down some spine crawlers as well because meatless are not the only threat uh, Coming from Skinny USC, he also has Zerglings. And you see right here, uh, the, the main base of uh, Skinny USC is very vulnerable, though there are two Spore Crawlers here. Blue can just fly over here and take out all the drones. And here comes uh, Skinny USC moving in. Now, you see, uh, when you have this many Mutalists, you can actually ignore all of these spore crawlers you only see one spore crawler here in, in the probe line in the drone line so if you, you can focus you can totally ignore this you can just go straight for the drones or uh, kill this off real quick because you have like what 30 meters that is enough to ignore two lowly spore crawlers and sure you might lose one or two meters but if you kill all of these drones that is a great trade for any zerg player Looks like the third though is very vulnerable for blue. Skinny just checking if there is a fourth and here we go. He, he can attack and take out this third right away but he does not know that. Looks like we have a, quite a lot of infestors out for blue and oh the midlists are flying really close. If blue can cast these midlists and he can get a nice fungal growth. No blue 
What are you doing? Here come the investors. He can get the fungal growth down, and no, he misses the fungal growth. I think he clicked the top. Uh, he clicked on top of the mulisks where he should only click. Oh, slightly under them and uh oh here we go some zergans coming in trying to take out all the investors but they they need a bunch of zergans and blue can actually catch the needless with fungal growth but no he is distracted by those links 26 morning is coming out for skinny usc and blue making a lot of his own zerglings making a couple of roaches Getting burrow and researching ventral sacks. Okay, I wonder what he's planning to do, but oh, here we go. Looks like we might have a huge encounter here in the middle of the map, and the investors are in position. They can get the fungal growth on the mutilus, and oh my god, big, big fungal growth going on the mutilus, but Blue is using his own mutilus. He can own, what he could all really do is just let the investors handle these mutilus. And he's just boxing the investors and having them use fungal growth. Though, uh, food wise, he has even things up. But still, uh, and those investors go down to these surgeons. Just as Burrow uh, is only 25 seconds away from completion. So, a lot of. Uh, we're seeing the inexperience here from both players, though. But, uh oh, Blue is going to lose all his remaining mutilists as Skinny USC. Has remacroed up so quickly. He now has he has now retaken the food lead. And he once again not controlling his army very well with what he needs for him to all to die. Now once again remember this is the novice final, so um, of course we cannot expect the best control from both players but still uh, we want to give, really want to give room for new players you know, to experience competition and of course uh, improve their game uh-oh he is in trouble he doesn't have that many armenians left and wise decision here from skinny is he going straight for the third and this is what i was talking about so he has a lot of uh, war crawlers and some banelings, but still, uh, you are vulnerable to the ground units called zerglings. Okay, this loot going to defend. He has a couple of ancestors, links, and some needless, and a banelings is floating on the remaining links. So blue though is way, way down in the food count. He lost. Uh, 38 drones in that exchange so right now blue is feeling kind of desperate his opponent is already grabbing his fourth base both of them are almost mined out at their main their naturals well are rather healthy because they don't have they don't have that high of a drone count definitely something that they can improve on hopefully they watch this video and hear my feedback but blue desperately trying to redrone up but Oh no, he even lost all his links to those Bane links, so not the best control from Blue. Here we go, this looks like the last desperate attack for Blue. Moving into the third with whatever he has left, he has infested and needless, but uh oh. That's a couple of roaches and fungal growth going on a couple of zerglings, but it won't be enough as all his investors die. He does get one burrowed, but does he lose? The bird infester, no, the bird infester is still there, but blue ran GG's. And game one goes to skinny USC. So we'll be moving on to game two in just a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed that. This has been your friendly neighbor, Dr. Jimmy, signing off. Bye bye.